Well, you can see Makar, the sons of, of Finland, 18 years old. Tatiana Lebedeva, his coach. First Junior Grand Prix season, second Junior Grand Prix event, 11th in week one in Portugal, 124.87 personal best in the free program. He needs a 129.57 to take the lead. And Makar's free skate, choreographed by Benoit Richot, is a story of a robot that wants to become a human, but can't. Such an interesting program, Mark. Love the story about the robot wanting to become human. I wish we had more storylines like that in skating. You could tell them before the audience sees the program. Absolutely, and that's where many of the skaters will employ the work of a choreographer and the good choreographer giving context and story to facilitate the skaters' better presentation, their better expressiveness. And now we don't reference choreography, we reference composition, and the composition list of Benoit Richard really good. 
I had to wonder, or I was thinking during the program, I wondered if storytelling, which clearly he was trying to do through the choreography, early on in the season takes away from technical concentration. It's not a criticism, it's just an analysis that when you're deeper in performance and deeper in telling the story, I wonder it's more difficult, of course, to perform everything equally at the highest level early on in the season. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, again, as you said, a time division of, of education of the athlete. As you see this good triple loops, triple toe, and good technique. There wasn't a triple axle here, though, from a car, and that's something that we, he's capable of in practice, not delivered here, but maybe an executive decision by he and his mom as coach, knowing that a clean skate here would be really beneficial after the disappointment of the free skate in Courchevel, as we see such flow into the Sarko or their Sarko. That was really good GUE, but then stepping out here just forces it to go negative. And you can see the you know development of this young skater in the season so far, the growth of the program and getting a little bit more consistent technically and he'll put the triple axle in I'm sure later in the season. So there's a process. It cannot be all things to all people all at the same time. It's a process that happens and develops throughout the season. Absolutely. And this, this clean skate providing a good framework for Makar, who will then go on to compete at the prestigious Nebelhorn Trophy in Oberstdorf as a senior. So he's going to use this as a platform. As you see, there's the finish position, which multi-dimensional movements. That's one of the criteria for the judges, and that finish position is a final signal to the judges that he wants a better composition component. Well, let's take a look at the scores for the free program from Makar. Season's best, 121.92. That's second in the free program. Progress made here in Riga with a 189.03 total score for the competition as he takes over second place at this point in the competition. And there are four skaters to come. I love how his mom shakes his hand first as the coach and then she gives him a hug. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Here you go. And now, okay, son. <laughs> yeah, good job.